I have never seen a day in time when people hate good things. I just don't know what's so bad with living good. I just don't know what's so terrible about trying to live righteously. I don't know what's so bad with trying to live a clean life, a pure life, and a holy and acceptable life unto the Lord. I just don't get it. There is nothing in this book that's going to hurt you or harm you. Let me tell you something. There is nothing like the misery of a backslidden person. There is nothing like the misery of someone that once knew the Lord and turned their back on God. Because there is nothing in the world that there is no plan B God. There's no plan C church. There's no plan D place for backsliders to fellowship and sing amazing grace. This is it, saints of God. This is the church. This is the body of Christ. This is a representation of this church. Saints, I don't want you to get mad at me. I want you to catch my burden. I want you to catch my conviction. I want you to catch my hope for this world. You don't have to live this way. You don't have to live in a backslidden condition. God loves you tonight. And he gave a son that we might live. I don't want you to go to hell. 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 Well, now, Pastor, just calm down, man. You're making me nervous. Wonderful. Pastor, leave me alone. Leave me alone, Pastor. I just wanted to come here. I have my reasons. I just wanted to come here and show up. As the people I know, there's some friends I have here. I'm glad you came for that reason. But God has another motive. God has another motive. Pastor, leave me alone. Back up. Pastor, leave me alone. I don't think there's anything with a little drinking. Would you think there would be anything wrong with me slipping out on my wife? But it's just a little bit. I bet not. You see what happens is it's a little of this and all of a sudden it's a little of this too because what started out with just one little thing I was doing wrong turned into another little thing I was doing wrong and the next thing you know I got another little thing I'm doing wrong and the next thing you go out on another little thing I'm doing wrong and how much is little and how much is in proportion and how much is moderate and how much should it be that it's too much and who's to decide the Bible said in Galatians that a little leaven leavens the whole lump if you let that enemy come in there he will gain a foothold on your life. I want to preach tonight that you feel hell under your feet. You might say, preacher, what's hell? That's the alternative. And that's not the place that you go when you die. That's the place you start to live like when you reject God. Like hell. I think a lot of people think, I'm going to run from God and have it my way. I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be joyful. All my friends are going to party. I'm so sick of going to funerals where they think they can go to, to heaven and party. And they're going to listen to all kind of music and slop. And we're going to drink and party when we get there. Heaven is not like Dixie, brother. Heaven is not some country party. Ain't nobody doing the watermelon crawl up in heaven. Ain't nobody drinking all that liquor in heaven. Ain't nobody smoking no blunts in heaven. Ain't nobody getting high in heaven. Saints, I love you tonight. I love you tonight enough not to apologize for what I've preached. I love you tonight to tell you that I've, 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 I've preached pretty close tonight. I made it real plain tonight. But I'm telling you, if I don't make it plain, the enemy's going to come in and scoot right up next to our young people. And he'll get in their phones at night when they're laying at bed. And he'll start talking to them through them phones. He'll get them on TikTok and Instagram. And then they'll challenge them on TikToks, you girls kiss a girl. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm preaching tonight that the devil is a liar. They'll dare some of you young men to give up your credibility and character and give up your manliness and your godliness. I said you don't have to cry for me. Don't sing me no sad song.